I'm going to knock every church bell in every district in this state, and they're going to know where their representatives voted. This, this Hyde Amendment is nothing more than what we had in the state health plan. It's nothing more, nothing more than a red herring. It was an opportunity not to have this vote. We had two members that were voting with me, and they were confused on the vote. They asked to reconsider, and we had pro-life members of this body not allow them to reconsider. So I, the, I moved to table this amendment. I move now to table the Hutto Amendment so we'll stop this genocide of unborn children, just make a little incremental move in stopping the murder of children with taxpayer dollars in South Carolina. Senator from Spartanburg, for what purpose do you rise? I rise to see if the Senator from Spartanburg would yield for a question. I will, Senator. Senator yields. Thank you, Senator. I just heard you mention that the churches might, I know you mentioned last night the churches might not be involved, but I think you might have gotten them involved a little bit. D did you not? Well, he here's the problem, Senator. We, we heard up here about our fear, which we found out we've got a letter here basically disputing everything that was said about the Medicaid dollars we're going to lose. But we talk that. about this fear of Medicaid dollars. We talk about this fear of the state's money. And then what they're going to turn around and do is they're going to take the state's money, try to use scare tactics about all these people in need, and they're going to take that money and kill babies with it. I understand. But this letter here from the South Carolina Baptist Convention that we all received, I think every senator got a copy, did they not? They did. Addressed to every senator. Yeah. And, and so that must mean they're paying attention. So I'd say any, at least any Baptist that maybe didn't, that voted for cloture just a minute ago, they, they might be on a radar list, would you not think? Senator, just like you, I walked, I walked and knocked along a lot of doors when I was campaigning for office. But to me, this, this is the most important issue we face, because if we can't respect life, we can't respect property, we can't respect individuals, we can't respect the elder, we can't respect anybody. If we're saying that we're not going to give due process to the weakest and neediest among us, the unborn child, then everything's on the table. And I think we're seeing that. And it's dangerous and it's frightening that we would use, we would take money, which if they don't pay it, by the way, the taxpayer doesn't pay, not only will we call them tax cheats, but we'll turn around and go after them. So we force these people to pay into something that they are, for the most part in this state, revolted by. But at least we'll have a vote on the record on these amendments, and the folks in the churches can know where their senators stand. I move to table. 